I have a lot of friends asking me, how your wife have so much milk to make the cookies? Hi everybody, I'm Joanna. I'm Nicholas. And we are the founders of Singapore Lactation Bakes. For my first girl, I had to really reduce and shorten my breastfeeding journey with her. And the reason being because I have very low milk supply. And for when my second girl came along, I did some research and I realised, eh, actually there's such things called a lactation cookies. And this is how I started experimenting at home. So that she baked some, then I tried. Eh, actually okay there, not, not too bad there. Then I told her that, eh, actually we should, we should try this out. So how this lactation cookie works right, it's definitely not a miracle pill. So when you eat the cookies right, the cookies will actually increase a certain hormone in our body so that you will give the response to our you know, milk ducts to actually have more letdowns. When women were to feel let down or fuller breast, they are supposed to pump or latch immediately because more removal of milk means the body will make more milk the next time. And this is how the cookie works. So what we do at our end is we actually formulate the recipe to allow it to be as tasty as normal cookies. So there's a lot of trial and error here and there, including for muffins and brownies. I remember for brownie, we tried for a whole year. I remember for all our staff birthdays, we were having lactation brownies. <laughs> really, we were having yeah. lactation brownies throughout the year. To the point that if one of the teammates that is in our team that disagree with the taste, we will scrape the whole thing and redo the whole, the, 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 the whole process. Of course it is, but we actually have one group of women which we don't encourage, which is actually women who are pregnant. So pregnant mummies are not suitable to have our lactation bakes. And the reason being? Mainly because of flaxseed. Because if you Google it, right, flaxseed taken in large amount will actually induce early labour on women. That's why we always tell our customers that are pregnant, do not try our cookies until you give birth. Yeah. We were growing at a steady pace up until 2018 when I unfortunately got diagnosed with stage 3 lung cancer. So you know, at that moment, you know, life seems to go for a pause. Yeah, but yeah. I think at that point when she had the cancer, we were thinking, should we stop the business for a while while we fight the battle? Then that night, we came to agree on, it's not fair for mothers because at that point of time, we were the one and only one that is supplying lactation cookies. If we were to stop the business, then how about the mothers out there? A lot of mothers, they are actually relying on um, our product to help with their supply. So what we did was, we actually juggled between hospitals to work, and also even in hospital during a chemo session, we were also working. I remember the scene of her hand, she was actually plugged with the tubes to the chemo medicine. She was sitting in front of the computer, and and I was there using my laptop together with her. But for me being to able to use the laptop there cannot be compared to her. When she's going through the four or five hours of chemo session, she was like sitting down there going through all that. So that's it's really true. incredible. One of the missions that I have, right, for Singapore Lactation Bake is to empower women and mothers like me. So what I did is I actually went to take up a lactation counsellor course from Childbirth International. And I'm a newly mint um, counsellor. I just got certified two weeks ago. And this actually do allow me to embark into my second phase of the journey into um, getting certification from the International Board of Lactation Consultants. We all thought that breastfeeding is something that comes naturally, like flick of an instinct and you will know it. But in fact, it's actually not. And to digest all the information about breastfeeding is actually very, very taxing for the mother. I have a lot of friends asking me, how your wife have so much milk to make the cookies? <laughs> it's something that I can't really answer them. I, I told them, hey, no, eh, if for me to actually use real breast milk for these cookies. I need so many women for me, but no. So there's a lot of education part on start to teach people about lactation cookies, even for people that have not given birth before. They wouldn't know what's lactation cookies. So now we're actually in a mission to actually allow more people to understand what is lactation cookies and how can this actually help new mothers with their breastfeeding journey.